Well, look at that. My dogs are looking at me like I'm an idiot, but I guess that's normal. <laughs> but anyway, this video is to talk about that window right there. Um, so in our main living area, which is two stories tall, uh, sorry about the finger there, um, when you're over sitting here at the dining room table, that window right there um, faces west. So in the afternoon, it gets an amazing amount of sun. It's very irritating when you're sitting there trying to eat or just trying to enjoy time in the kitchen or anywhere in the house, pretty much. And it was first summer we've lived here, so it also gets very, very hot in the afternoons. So here you can see um, kind of up at top what it looks like. Now we, we kind of have a little bit of the issue. The window and the light above it are not centered. We've only got a little bit of space on the right hand side. So we kind of have to off center the track that the barn doors are going to roll on. We'll get it put up here and show you what it looks like shortly. Just kind of show you from uh, a little bit stepped away from the window there. Again, you can see the, the brightness of the uh, sun coming in we're really not even in the afternoon in this picture here and it's still extremely bright so we definitely need to get this remedied and here you can see the track is installed um, I ended up getting an 11 foot track the window is a little uh, more than five feet wide so I didn't think 10 foot track would work very well um, looking back, I probably should have went with the 10-foot track. Um, I don't necessarily have to have the windows be, or the shutters be able to slide completely out from in front of the window. So I've probably got an extra foot on the left-hand side. I could cut it off if I wanted to, but I'm probably going to leave it for now. Um, spend a little extra time trying to make sure this is 100% level. I made a little test door here. Now, obviously, this is not going to be the size of the real doors I'm going to put up. I just made a board here to put up and just to test it rolling and make sure everything worked. Now, we decided we wanted to make the, the doors go down a little more than this board does. Obviously, they're going to be half the width of the window. We're trying to make it block all of the And sunlight. here's a pic of the uh, door from down below, kind of how it's going to look. Obviously, it's going to be two of them going to be quite a bit wider. So in building the frame or the door shutter itself, I'm really just putting boards together. I did not glue the boards together side to side. Looking back, that would have probably been a smart idea. And then I'm just going to build a frame around it, as you can see here in a minute. Um, pretty much just glued these together and use a little brad nailer to, to pop a few brads in it just to get them um, looking good. My initial plan was just to put one board in it like that to give it kind of a Z look. Um, as you'll see in a minute when I did the second one here, um, if you can think, I don't have a picture of them together, but what I ended up with is both of the, the little slanted bars went the same direction there. So that kind of sucks. So to remedy that and get around it, I went ahead and just created an X that you'll see in a minute. Um, and I ended up liking the results of this better than I think I would with ha having just done one, uh, crossbar anyway, but it just wasn't the initial plan, but. You know, it's one of those days where not everything goes as to plan. So here are the, the, the barn door shutters um, that have the X on them. Uh, I haven't completed the X on the other one yet, but um, you can see at this point that the original ones uh, went the same direction. So that would have looked kind of odd. And here we've got the door, the first one hanging up just to test functionality. Now I'm going to go over here in a minute and kind of move it around a little bit. And I start to notice something a little troubling when I do this. Um, I'll go into a little more detail in a minute. Um, see, I'm going to grab it here and move it. And I start hearing something and kind of feels like it's not moving very good. So what is happening is because the, the windowsill pushes out the uh, shutter at the bottom, it ends up pushing the um, the bolts into the wall up top and I've got a pretty good a little later I've got a pretty good picture to help show what I'm talking about here so what I did to remedy that is I ended up routing out a little groove to help um, for the windowsill to kind of go into that groove um, and I also noticed because once I originally uh, created these doors put them together they ended up setting up in the window unstained for a while um, and I guess the wood was still a little wet when I bought it because it ended up uh, drying a little bit and kind of shrunk and kind of created some gaps between the boards. Um, 
I ended up putting some wood filler on it. Um, ended up sanding this down really good before we stained it. Um, I think it turned out good. It just wasn't necessarily what I was anticipating. I was thinking the boards would have stayed together. But again, I didn't glue them originally. Looking back, I probably should have uh, glued them. Uh, here we go with some first coat of stain on the back side. We've already stained the front side twice, so it's already got a really good look on it. Um, there's a little more variation here than what we were going for. Um, I guess what I mean is that the, the stained and then the, just the light of the wood, I don't want that much variation in it. We want it to be a little bit darker. So we went back and did a second coat. I believe this is still before, this is still at the first coat here. And I'm going to kind of point out like that little piece of wood right there. It's nothing different about it. It just didn't accept any stain the first time around. So we're going to end up staining it again to kind of give it a more uniform look. So I've got both the doors made. I'm going to go ahead and add the hardware. Um, I had the holes already drilled and now I've got them hung up. And now you can see what I'm talking about. Um, you can kind of see it still almost rubs a little bit, but it's not too bad. So I'm, I'm kind of okay with it. It's really only one spot. Right here you can kind of see how close those bolts get to the wall. Now if they weren't, if the windowsill wasn't pushing the, the, the doors out, they wouldn't have that problem at all. And here we go, just from a standpoint of both of them being up, kind of away from it a little bit. And you can see they're still letting in a little bit of light, but it's not too bad. I mean, this is night and day over what it was. So I'm thinking I may come back and add a little weather stripping or something to, to go between them. Um, and I may end up putting some, some brown caulk on the back, kind of to still between the boards. It's like they dried a little bit more, even with the wood filler. And still, you can see through the cracks different shots you can see that there's some pretty good cracks there the sun comes through and again that's not a problem as far as being irritating um, when you're sitting downstairs to me it just doesn't look good and since the the bar there that the whole thing rolls on is two pieces it looks like the right one may not be 100 percent level with the left one because as you can see there's gets to be a little bit of a gap between the doors but again i think that'll be solved by just a little weather stripping or something i'm not that worried about it but Overall, I think it's a great look. I think it's a uh, really easy project. If you want to buy the barn door hardware that we bought, I'll put the link in the description to my Amazon uh, associate account. And, you know, right there, just turning the lights on. And it just helps show a little contrast between the, the front frame pieces and the back. I think it's a really good look. Um, we got two more of those windows up in the front of the house facing south. I'm not as worried about getting those done, but I think the long-term goal is to do another couple of sets of these and get on those on those windows also. But this one was more of a priority just because it was facing west. Speaking of facing west, that's what we look at when we face west here now. Granted, my neighbor needs to clean their yard up, but sometimes the sun just looks like it's on fire. Um, if you guys want to see any more of the projects we do around our barn dominium. I've got some other stuff we've already done. We'll be putting out a lot more videos. Please click like, subscribe, ask any questions. Um, we'd love to hear your comments, suggestions. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.